What's up everybody? This is Brian Casella, BC, your realtor here in Southern California and your source for mindset, confidence, cars, and everything else. I just wanted to make a quick video today because a lot of you have been continuously asking me, BC, um, have you always been charismatic? What did you do to become charismatic if you didn't? What are some tips you can give us? And I want to really break it down for you simply, give you some simple applicable steps that you can implement immediately that will take you from wherever you're at to being charismatic. Now, I want you guys to know that before I got on this journey, um, I was considered more of a, a serious person, right? Not, not to say that I was, but my walking face, you know how they say some girls have a, a bitch face? I walked around more serious and a lot of people thought that I didn't like them just because I had that like more serious face and it wasn't... Um, anything against them, it's just how I was, right? Because I had so many internal blocks and I was um, living in a different state than I am now, right? It's all about converting your state. I wanna say that first. The more you walk around with more insecurities, uh, fe more fear of judgment, and all these things pent up in your body that you're not dealing with, right? In your psyche, in your subconscious mind, and your body, you, the manifestation of that in this world with your body will be tenseness, seriousness, right? And, and you see this around you. So it's, it's shifting in a state, all right? Number one is you make the decision. As obvious as that sounds, you have to make an absolute total commitment to saying, okay, I want to become more charismatic, more enthusiastic, more energetic, because that's really what it takes. Without that concrete decision, if it doesn't become a priority or important to you, you're never going to do it because when you commit to it and you make the decision, you're going to actually commit to dealing with what comes with it down the road. You see guys, when you make change, especially internal change with yourself, your personality, how you view yourself, those are some of the most difficult things to deal with, right? Because all your insecurities come up, it's very like almost emotional and it's a lot of um, pent up emotions and it's really difficult for most people to deal with it. Right? But you have to accept the fact that, hey, a lot of people aren't going to do it. I'm going to do it. This is what's going to separate me. And at the same time, it has to be important to you. The saying is you have to become sick of your sickness. You have to decide and say, okay, I'm going to do this. All right? So take a moment and pause this. Collect your thoughts. And really, before you even continue down the video, are you going to make this commitment? Are you committed to becoming more charismatic and living a better life? And I'm going to explain to you later on in this video why it's so important. Okay, number one, a tip for you, and you have to do this consciously at first, like you have to force yourself to do it, smile more. If you're serious right now watching this video, do this. Smile and watch how you get a different feeling in your body, your eyes will light up. Try to be mad the moment that you smile. It's kind of hard, isn't it? Or you have to really force yourself to like try to get mad. Even me smiling right now gives a different vibe to the video and my energy goes up. So as silly as that sounds, start smiling more. When you smile more, right, you, you create, it's physiology, that's what Tony Robbins calls it. You create a shift in your state, like I said in the beginning. By smiling, it will be more difficult for you to get mad or go to a negative emotion and it's going to force you to feel good. And what you're doing is now you're anchoring this, right? And if you do it over and over, you're walking around. I'm not saying walk around with a fake smile all the time. But force yourself to smile more, right? Before you approach somebody, smile. Before you knock on that door, smile. Before you walk into a room, smile. And watch how everybody will react to you differently, right? Number two, you, you have to come to an understanding that enthusiasm, charis, uh, charisma, and being charismatic is very magnetic. It's a power. My presence has completely shifted and altered to very powerful and magnetic. People are drawn to me because I've developed this charisma. And one of the tools was the smile, right? Number two is, <clears throat> there's several steps, but number two, I would say personally, is beginning to shift your internal thought process and self-talk. What do I mean by that? Now this is, again, like I said in the beginning, this is going to require a lot of work. This is the classic example I give people. If I was to walk around with a microphone in your head and announce to the world your thoughts, your, your, your private thoughts, your self-talk, would you be proud like I am right now? 
I'd be like, dude, if, if people could hear my internal talk, they'd be like, man, this guy, no wonder this guy's kicking ass. Look at the way he talks to himself and how he thinks. It's always so positive and empowering and uplifting, confident, probably on the border of insanity because he's such a big fan of himself. That would be my self-talk. What's yours? Is it negative? Is it maybe a little bit neutral or negative, right? Most people, it is. It's self-doubt. It's negative, disempowering, and all those things. You have to become a catalyst now to shift this. And how do you do that? The first step to that, guys, is catching when you go negative. What do I mean by that? Okay, let's say you're somebody who, who ch has a challenge with this, right? Like you're always in self-doubt mode. What you want to do first, foremost, is when you start going negative, catch it. So let's say you go two minutes now before you become conscious that you're giving yourself negative thoughts and you catch it. Good. Clap for yourself. That's a win. Don't dwell on the fact that you're talking to yourself negatively. Celebrate the fact that you caught it this time. And what's going to happen is as you begin to catch it, that window is going to get smaller to where it got to the point with me where it would be a couple minutes and I'd catch it. It would get to the point where it was only a couple seconds. Two or three seconds, boom, I'd catch it. I'd be like, man, I never, oh, stop it. And eventually that window will close. And now it's up to you to reprogram yourself with positive thoughts. How do we see this nowadays? You see people like Tony Robbins say that you do affirmations and incantations where you stand in front of the mirror, you put a little emotion into it and you tell yourself, you know, I'm a great person, I'm phenomenal, I'm rich, I'm powerful. That's the first step in reprogramming your mind. I'm past that point, I don't have to walk around doing that, but I still have those thoughts, right? It's already become unconscious for me. You have to take this from a conscious thing, meaning you have to focus on it and do it until you program it to a habit or unconscious. Now you're gonna start tapping into some of your power because you're gonna walk around smiling, right? And instead of having this un, um, unconfident, negative thought process, because think about this, guys. Imagine two people, one who has the self-talk that I have versus somebody who has negative talk. Think about how they're gonna be in this world and walk around, right? Me, I'm gonna walk around confidently with my chest out, smiling, comfortable, I know my value, I know who I am. The other guy is gonna be walking around insecure. Oh my God, what, 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 what do they think about me? Uh, you know, is, is anybody looking, uh, you know, they're gonna be hunched over or I'm gonna be standing up straight, chest out, feeling good and comfortable. Now the last thing I'm gonna to touch on in this video, and I'll probably do a continuation is, this is really gonna help you with, with, with charisma. It's, you're so caught up and I say you in a general sense, not necessarily you who are watching, you're so caught up in what other people think about you that all your attention is on the inside, right? Why won't you go up and stand in front of people and speak confidently? Why will you not, when you're out in public, dance when you know you're a good dancer, right? It's because you have all these, all these, in, all these blocks because you give a shit about, about what people think about you, but here's a thought for you. Everybody's walking around with this. Everybody's walking around saying, oh my God, what are people thinking about me? Which means everybody's caught up in their own head. By virtue of you knowing that, it should give you at least the courage to step out and say, you know what? I'm still at a point right now where I think maybe I'm worried about what people think about me, but they're so insecure and self-conscious themselves, they're not even gonna notice me dancing here or talking to that person, right? And it's another reason you won't approach a stranger is you're afraid of rejection. They themselves are so self-conscious, they're not even caught up thinking about you because they're too worried about themselves. That alone should liberate you a little bit. But that is definitely one of the tools of becoming charismatic is me, somebody who's charismatic, I'm gonna be, be it all the time because I've accepted the fact that I don't care. I don't care anymore. It's a process, guys. But you have to begin to, to strip that chain away from you because it's holding you back. I believe, I truly believe that everybody in their core is open, is to a certain degree, maybe some more than others, but they are they themselves charismatic. Look at kids running around. Do you see little shy kids? No, kids have a, a, a booming imagination, a beautiful imagination. They're just going out there slaying dragons and doing their thing. It wasn't until we had all this conditioning imposed in us that we became closed off. So learn to tap back into that child. Start stripping away these, the, th this, this society conditioning of worrying about what people think. Right? And if you're new to this, follow me and you'll see I'm a, I'm a demonstration of not giving a shit about what people think about you. <clears throat> the more you do this, guys, the more that natural charisma will come out of you because I believe we all are 
like I said, maybe some more than others, naturally charismatic. It's just a matter of tapping into it and releasing it again. You all have it in you. You just have to uh, rip that shell off. And it's going to take time and it's going to be a constant progression. But if you follow me and watch my videos and you just see how I am, if you YouTube other people that you feel are charismatic and you see how they carry themselves, how they are, you'll see a lot of things in common that you now can apply step by step and begin to really extract that charisma out of you and bring it out to the world. Because I can tell you on the other side of charisma is people liking you, more relationships, more friendship, better business practices, more money, more clients, and everything else you've ever wanted in this life. Because the most influential people that you see that move crowds and that had a lot of power were very charismatic. Okay, that's it for this one, guys. Uh, make sure that you like this video, share it, as I know this is a very touchy topic for a lot of people, and I wanna empower as many as possible. Be sure to browse the channels. I have a lot of content over the last two or three years. And most importantly, subscribe as I will have regular content for you on topics like this and other ones to help you in your business and in your life.